Solve symbolically, 1 over x minus 1 plus 1 over x plus 1 is greater than 3 fourths. The first thing we have to do here is to turn this into something of the form. We need to make it look like f of x and then compare it to 0. So we need to bring that 3 fourths to the left and then rewrite it as a, and we want this f of x, we want it as a single fraction. In this case, since we're dealing with these rational expressions, we want to get this to a single fraction compared to 0. So let's do a little work here. Let's subtract the 3 fourths. So I'd have 1 over x minus 1 plus 1 over x plus 1 minus 3 fourths is greater than 0. Now we need a common denominator. Looking at the denominators, I have a factor of x minus 1, I have a factor of x plus 1, and I have a factor of 4. They share no common factors, so then my LCD is 4 by x minus 1 by x plus 1. So I have to build up each of these fractions appropriately. The first fraction needs factors of 4 and x plus 1, and same in the denominator. The second fraction needs factors of 4 and x minus 1, and same in the denominator. The, set, the last fraction needs an x minus 1 and an x plus 1. And again, same in the denominator. So that would give me 1 times 4 times x plus 1. That would be 4x plus 4 over the LCD plus 1 times 4 times x minus 1. That would be 4x minus 4 over the LCD minus... 3 times x minus 1 times x plus 1. That would be 3x squared minus 3 over the LCD. And that's all greater than 0. So now we have 4x plus 4 plus 4x minus 4 minus quantity 3x squared minus 3 all over, and now I'll write out the common denominator, 4 by x minus 1 by x plus 1. And that's still greater than or equal, or just greater than 0. So let's see, I have an 8x. This plus 4 minus 4 goes away. I would have a negative 3x square, a plus 8x, and a plus 3 over the common denominator. 4 by x minus 1 by x plus 1. All right, so now, and we're still comparing that to 0. So now we do as before. We find where the function is equal to 0 and where the function is undefined. f of x equals 0. So let's see, that would mean that negative 3x squared plus 8x plus 3 equals 0. And this will factor So let's see, I would need a negative 3 here. I think we need a plus 3 here and a minus 1 here. I think it's 3x plus 1 and negative x plus 3. Okay, equals 0, so that implies x is negative, negative 1 third, and x is 3. Where is the function undefined? Well, that would happen if the denominator 4 by x minus 1 by x plus 1 is 0. And so then x equals 1 and x equals negative 1. So now we set up our number line. Let's see, we would have negative 1, negative 1 third, 1, and 3. And now we need to test each of those intervals. So it's not pretty, but, what you, but you could go through the process now and test each of those intervals. If you go through the tests, 
you should come back with the following signs. Negative for the first interval, positive for the second interval, negative for the third interval, positive for the second interval, and negative for the last interval. And so then since we, were, we wanted the function to be greater than zero, we would take, well, we've got to be careful here, what about our important points here? Let's see, negative one is an asymptote. Well, and we don't really need these here because it's strict greater than, but if you were worried about this, you would include the endpoint at negative one-third and include the endpoint at three, not at one. But since it's a strictly greater than inequality, we won't include any endpoints. So our solution would be negative one to negative one-third union one to three.